Oh, it's interesting title on your book. I'm scared of strangers. Today we went around Oxford asking people what they feared the most. Probably heights, to be honest. Um, you know, probably falling. Spiders. Um, probably spiders. <laughs> probably heights. Uh, heights. Height, insect, spiders, death, dying alone. Those are one of the most common fears for people. And today we're going to talk about fear with our friend Olga and member of the British Psychology Society. Hi, and thank you for being here. Hi. It's nice to be here. Before we talk about the most common fear, I would like to ask, what is the difference between fear, phobia and panic? And how are they related in somehow? Fear, it's the uh, oldest normal human emotion. It's helped us to survive and it's normal reaction for the stress for whole human, for me, for you and others. Phobia, similar as fear, just uh, bigger and powerful and depend on situation, some object and have something outside of human as a fear appear inside and panic it's already uh, some of disease. Is there a relation between fear and dreams and if so how do they codepend? It's a very interesting question. Sometimes our fears and our wishes are much so uh, our wishes is something which is we not really know, is it comes or is it no. And sometimes we afraid to go somewhere we never been before. It's interesting to ask yourself what I'm afraid the most and what I wish the most. And look at it and you could say I want to or I'm afraid too, and look how it much. It's, it's a very interesting experiment. You could find a lot of similar. And moreover, there is a very big energy which is hidden in our uh, fears and in our wishes. And this is something that we could use to be scared or to be effective. So I could say our fear could be our wishes if you have enough uh, energy to change it and to lead it, it into your goal and to challenge yourself. Talking about the common fear, if a person has passed through trauma, how would the fear manifest itself and what do you advise a person in that situation? Depend what kind of trauma a person passed. Uh, if it abuse and uh, something something what happened with uh, people previously so it could be uh, like phobia or of some situation in nowadays when we all uh, put in stressful situation of lockdown it's kind of trauma for everybody and this is depends how people could deal with this so when it's finished, a lot of people will be present with post-traumatic syndrome, which is, could be uh, manifest as uh, phobias, panic disease, whatever. And I think it will be some of new phobias, for example, phobia of hugs, or mask phobia, or strangers phobia, you never know. Is this people mean it during the day to do mindfulness exercise, to uh, relax yourself through breathing, through find your power inside of you, because you have something which is everybody with you. It's your body, it's your inner strength, and if it's your breathing. For example, if you're afraid something, you could normal reaction of your body like freeze, flight and fight. So, and this is a change your breathing. So if you uh, freeze or flight, your breathing like just stop 
and if you could be able to notice it, you could change your breathing and you could change your reaction. Many people have a fear of insects, snakes and other animals. Why is that? You know, uh, sometimes our fears come with our bone. So it's called like epigenetic trauma. So it's kind of genetic uh, experience which is comes from our relatives. Or it could be because of previous experience and then it's a fear as a phobia. Dying early. Probably getting sick again because I used to be really sick. The biggest fear is even though we've got to do it all sometime, I much like say dying. Probably being alone, like not having anyone to talk to or um, like any friends or any anyone. Yeah, being alone definitely. Probably dying. Well, at the moment, it's obviously COVID. Um, I'm an emergency worker, so I'm playing Russian roulette at work, and then I'm out here as well um, to look after other people. Why do people have a fear of death, living alone or dying alone? So this is one of the existential um, fear. So because nobody knows what after life, mm -hmm. so. And nobody thinks that death, there is a part of life. So this is something what we couldn't understand. This is something what we couldn't touch. This is something where we never have been before. So this is like fear of, of uh, unpredictable experience. Fear is a part of life and equally important to anything else. Why is that? As I told, it's oldest normal human emotion, which is protect us of uh, dangers, which, which help survive in our lives. So without fears, we couldn't survive even our childhood. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much for being with us. All right. I think it's very useful information for our days. And if you would like to join a business course that gives you all the support that you need, just give us a call.